Hello, good morning and welcome to The Big Shave. It's the 27th of June 2014. You might be wondering why I've got this up here. I'll explain it shortly. Uh, if you don't know what, what The Big Shave is, it's uh, it's basically me, it's Steve Farragher. I live in Liverpool. Uh, I work in a local community, do lots of different things. Um, and I just explained about shaving and the last couple of sh shaves, we're, we're trying to sort of vary what we do. Um, we did a cheap shave. Uh, I've done a quick shave which you haven't uploaded yet but on Tuesday night uh, I went to a charity event uh, run by a local organisation called Daisy UK uh, the web address is there it's run by a friend of mine actually called Dave Kelly who uh, is in his I think he's in his 40s or 50s but he went blind about 10 or 15 years ago uh, so he was a sighted person who went blind and uh, he organises these meals to raise funds for his organisation called uh, Dinner, Dinner in the Dark, Dining in the Dark. And what you basically do is uh, you put a blindfold on, boop, like that, and you eat your, eat your food. Um, it's a very strange experience, to say the least. Um, you know, you don't know how much food's left on the plate. You don't know where things are on the plate, even if they've been explained to you, the positions of them. Um, very often... You, you bring the fork or the spoon to your mouth and there's nothing on the fork or the spoon, you've picked nothing up. And it suddenly occurred to me uh, yesterday, um, thinking about it, well, how do people shave and, and do we have any blind shavers in the Big Shave the big shave group on uh, Facebook? And that, that's the address of the Big Shave group. Maybe they don't want to identify themselves, but I'd be interested to find out how people cope with it. Um, so I thought it would be interesting. I'm not doing this as any sort of publicity stunt or for the laugh is um, what's it like to get shaved without uh, not just not looking into a mirror but not being able to see where things are now I've given myself a bit of an advantage really I've got the, the scuttle, the aftershave, the brush, the cream and the razor are already down here and there's a bit of soap in the bottom of the scuttle so um, I haven't had to find things so I give myself a massive advantage but I just, just think it'll be interesting to see and, and I'll obviously do a bit of a running commentary as well to, to, to explain how, how I'm sort of thinking about it. So I'm going to pull the mask down. And it's a genuine mask. This, this is the one I had when I, when I was eating my food the other night. So, you know, you can't, you can't see. Um, you see a tiny bit of light at the bottom or nothing else. Um, and I, I, by the end of it, I might even be facing the mirror. I might, I might be, I might have me back to the mirror, I suppose. Who knows? Um, and I've got a bowl of water in front of me. Uh, and I'm ready to start. So... I'm just getting the feel of things now, so I've, I've, I've obviously looked at them, but I'm just working out where everything is. There's the brush, there's the razor, there's the cream for later, and there's the aftershave, and I've got the scuttle. Now I'm going to rest the scuttle in the sink. Now the first thing that occurs to me in this situation is how do I know when I've got a decent amount of shaving foam? Now, one of the things I've noticed about shaving foam, when you, when you start uh, lathering up, when you've got more foam in there, it starts to change, the sound changes, it starts to become a lot lower, the note. I've noticed already that that note is getting a bit low. So I'm feeling the brush and I'm just checking the, to see whether I think there's enough, there's enough foam on it. It feels a bit runny, so it all starts dripping down my face, but apologies. Right, got to be careful I don't shave through. The mask as well. The shape puts my beard up. Okay. I don't know what that's. I'm not going to peep either. I'm just basically going to do it three shape pass. Okay. That, that feels okay. I don't know what it looks like. You'll have to tell me, and I'll have to check afterwards. And I'm using a, I'm using a maker slant with a, with a, with a what you call it blade, and I'm not even sure whether you're seeing this or not. Okay. So we're going. The funny thing is I've got my eyes shut behind this mask. Seems like I feel better if I've uh, got total darkness. Okay, so that's we'll go for the first pass on the left hand side. We're gonna have to lift this up a little bit, but we'll keep my eyes closed. Okay. It's got an old blade as well, but it's uh, as you know my opinions on Astra Platinum is that the the my go to blade. I'm gonna do use other blades, I do notice that they are uh, aren't as good as the Astra Platinum. So, here we go. Obviously, touch is a lot more important. So, 
So what's been happening? Apart from going for meals blindfolded. Well, I've uh, started in car booties again. Cleaning out all the rubbish from my house. Selling to unsuspecting uh, members of the public. Robins Island car boot sale. I'll be there this Sunday. Which is uh, the 29th. Is it the 29th? From about 7 o'clock in the morning. If you don't know where Robin, Robins Island car boot sale is, it's on the... Uh, Day 57 from Liverpool to Jake. Okay, so let's lard it up again. And I actually shaved someone on Sunday. It's the second time I've done this. This guy was talking to me about what well, you know, what's the advantages of of, uh, of all this stuff that I have on the stall. And I said, well, look, I'll give you the shave. And, and he was very impressed. I guarantee he'll be back next week, and he'll want to buy something. He had a friend with him who already shaves. And he said, okay, so it's all touch. Very unnerving doing this. Not that I feel like I'm going to cut myself, but it's just. I actually think I'm probably going to get a better shave because I'm not a great. Uh, when I'm shaving, I usually just do it visually. The thing about the food as well, you were very, very careful when you were eating. And when you took your mask off and you saw other people eating, it was very. It was a different experience. You take eating for granted. Uh, eating for granted, sorry, eating, eating, eating for granted, and um, you, you have to do it when you when you're eating your your, your meal, especially a meal where you've got to cut up things. You've got to use people. You see people using strategies and thinking, well, if I do, you know, if I do this. One of the things people start to do is tapping the plate to see where the food was, or even touching the food. So putting your hands in your meal, which look really hard okay so let's see okay here we go it's lathered up again it feels like it's getting a good lather now actually for the lather settled a little bit it's of course it's arco you know why 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 wander into new territories so we're going down the jaw now this is the final pass we're going down the jaw line to the beard area and then the Van Dyke, as you call it, in the United States. I'd just like to say a big thank you as well to everyone who's, uh, who's been buying. Mainly Maker Futures on uh, on eBay. eBay shop. Coming up now. <laughs> I won't point because I don't even know where I'm pointing. eBay shop coming up now, there. Um, and... And there we go. Feels like a good shave. Doesn't feel like I've nicked anywhere. There's nothing so okay. Okay, neck the neck's incredibly well shaved actually. Yeah, people have been buying <coughs> people from all over the world, Russia, Israel, yeah, the United States, been buying maker futures off me. Possibly because I'm one of the cheapest sellers on eBay. Uh, and plus I've got quite a stock of them, so anyone else is interested, drop me a line. And we can, um, can buy one. Okay, putting the razor down, taking the scuttle out. Um, right, so I am going to lift it up now, but I'm going to keep my eyes closed because I need to wash all this off my face. Now, peeking now. Where's the towel? Okay, still no peeking. Back down again. Okay. Right. Hopefully we're facing the right direction. Right. So we've got. Uh, we're using a bit of Windsor. Let's show which way the label is. Um, put some of this on. So we're getting a handful of lip rin Windsor check. Clove. This thing is putting things down. So remember where you put them. Rub it in. Let it evaporate. Right. Okay. It's the top. The top's going back on, sorted. And uh, finish off with uh, some Arco moisturising cream. Oop, it's falling off. I know it <laughs> keeps falling off my finger. Okay. 
So, why not you have a go doing this yourself? Because it is, it is a completely different experience. It gives you a whole different perspective on um, on shaving. It becomes a, a completely tactile tactile experience. My friend Dave, who's blind, gets does the the, the dying in the dark because he wants people to empathise with blind people. As as he always says. If halfway through the food you, f you feel like you've had enough, you can just take the mask off. But blind people can never take the mask off. The masks are on all, all the time. So, fantastic idea, Dave. And I hope people appreciate me doing this. And um, have a go yourself because it is, a, it is a different experience. My name's Steve Farragher. This has been The Big Shave. That's my email address if you want to email me. That's the Facebook group, which is now coming up. And finally, it's the eBay shop, which is on my hands. Look, there you go. Um, nothing else to say, really, apart from that. Was um, I would say it was enjoyable. It was interesting. Um, makes you wonder, though, if you did lose your sight, what would you do? How would you cope with different situations? How would you cope with shaving, eating, crossing the road, uh, all the usual stuff? Uh, blind people aren't after your sympathy. They're after your empathy. They don't want you to take over their lives, they just want you to um, get some assistance when they need assistance, if they need assistance, they don't always need assistance. Okay, thank you very much for watching, uh, Steve Varagher, the big blindfolded shave on the 27th of June 2014, thanks for watching, I'll see you all soon, ta-da!